Hello and welcome to week 7 of my 42 week challenge to try and save as much money as possible. I am using the cash envelope system inspired by Dave Ramsey and I'm going to put for you on the screen as well as down in the description box my budget that I'm working with so you get a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing. I don't have to pay any rent or bills or anything like that because I'm in a very lucky position where my mum is letting me house sit for free while she's in another country. So let's jump into everything that I have spent this week. The first first thing was $50 on gas, um, the next thing was $21.10 on groceries. I'm going to put a photo up for you as well because like I've said in my past videos I just feel like it's more relatable to see what I actually buy with $21.10 on groceries because we'd all spend that money differently and also different people watch with different currencies from different countries and I don't know how many more times I can say different in one sentence but we are all different so there's a photo of what I spent my money on. <laughs> the next thing is some peanut butter for $15. It was on sale. I broke the budget to buy it, but for me, this peanut butter saves me so much money because it is my ultimate go-to snack, especially when I'm at school. I always have it with crackers or celery or apple and this really tides me over if I'm hungry between classes and it stops me from going down to the supermarket or the grocery store or whatever and just buying a snack when I have something there so it really helps me to save money in the long run it just meant I had to break my budget now and sales are dangerous because they encourage you to break the budget and although I have a good reason it's still not a good idea so don't follow by my example the next thing I spent was nine dollars on a tub of ice cream now I spent this out of my fun and entertainment category. I do not believe that junk food and ice cream and all that kind of treat yourself stuff should ever come out of groceries because it's a totally different thing and you don't need that to survive. You need groceries and basic food supplies for that but if you're going to eat ice cream it's a fun thing and it should come out of that category in my personal opinion. The next thing was $2.70 on more groceries and I generally do not remember what I spent that $2.70 but hopefully there's a photo for you. The next thing was cat food for $14 and then at the end of the week my friend visited from Brisbane and we went and got fish and chips and I just paid for all of it because I think she got last time when we hung out so it was $22.50 so I also broke my fun and entertainment category so both fun and entertainment and my grocery category got broken this week and I just need to sit down with myself and nut this out and make sure that I don't keep breaking the budget because then it defeats the whole purpose of creating one in the first place. So let's talk about what I made. The first thing was the restaurant work which was $510.85 for my waitressing and then the next thing, my favourite paycheck that I ever get was my YouTube one for $103.28 so thank you to you and all those lovely people who watch my ads before the videos because and watch my videos because that's what helps me to get a little bit of money and that's for August and September where I was being a little bit more consistent and uploading more videos. I know I've gotten scrappy but that's just because I've gone back to school and it's hard to just balance things okay life's difficult sometimes. <laughs> so last week I had saved $4,547.20. This week I have now got it up to $5,019.62. So that's where I sit at in terms of my savings. I spent a total of $134.30 which is way more than I should be spending for my budget. Like I said I did break it um, in a couple of different areas. So I'm going to I think also reevaluate it as well because I had to bump up last week to $50 of gas so I just feel like my budget's just too much and I can definitely work to squeeze a little bit here and a little bit there so that I can save a bit more. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at, $5,019.62 and I'm super excited about that because $5,000 was my goal before the end of the year because that is how much money I spent um, since coming back in Australia and I bought this camera and all these kind of things so I've just paid myself back and now everything else that I save will be going towards my travel fund which I am really really looking forward to saving towards. So anyway thank you so much for watching let me know where you are at with your own savings goals and I'll see you next time. Bye!